What's up guys, before I get into today's video, I would really appreciate it if you guys could give me a like, and if you haven't done so already, please go down there and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Like bringing content to you guys. Really enjoy my content. Please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so just at the front of the block and I want to get the actual uh, gear off of the oh, crank. Man, I can't think. So what I'm going to do is I have this for reference, four inch gear puller. Hopefully that's clear for everyone. Uh, basically it's just a heavier duty gear puller with a two claw. I'm going to open this up a little bit and to a point where I can grab behind on that third second set and also get a, a piece of aluminum to protect. So that's good. Like, look at that. Literally just twisting and it's coming right off. Boom. Sprockets off. Okay, that's easy. Light tappity taps. Here is the crank position sensor. Yes, my EJ buds, it's on the back side. It is with a 10 mil, I believe. These will just be light. Okay guys, goal of today is to get this off. I'm gonna put it on side by side to the IG block and I will double make sure that everything is out of here um, from what I need to transfer over that is and we should be good from there cool let's get this done so first off I will Get some gloves on. Okay. Hope I don't regret this. Oh. But it shouldn't be that heavy, right? Nice. That boy is there. Now the IG. Okay.
Okay. Fine man. Okay guys. Back. So I have these new discs. They are Rolox 3M. They are the 120. Uh, from what I heard, these are approved for doing even the resurfacing on the head gasket surface. And I have this paired up with the uh, disc assembly, basically the backing pad. And I will be sticking this on my DeWalt. Very soft. I'm going to go through this once more and get around the edge with the Rolox bits. Okay guys, just prepping the first surface. So good amount of brake clean and just going around. Okay guys, so if I have this oriented to me correctly, then I will be going basically from here all the way around, all the bolt, around, up, around, around. coming on the inside here, inside, sticking around here, inside here, all the way, basically following the inside edge all the way around, 
until I come out to about here and then going a little around here. Okay guys, so had a battery die, so since you've been gone, I put this on and you can see that I'm getting good squeezage out of here. Uh, I've hand tightened, literally gone around, hand tightened everything uh, and you can see the material squeezing out in various areas and that looks good. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing really coming hard on the inside, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is I will put my uh, new oil pickup on. And so this is the Killer Bee oil pickup. Put that there. Literally one of the screws is inside. Cool. So, name of the game, clean this up. So these are the OEM bolts that came and these are the Killer B bolts that are with the oil pickup if you want to be technical I think the manual calls it a oil strainer Boom. So obviously it has to go like that. Can't come out. It's <laughs> a good check. Finger tight. So 56.4 inch pounds.
Okay. Hey guys, so to follow this up, we have, and I can face the back of the engine like this. So we have torque spec of 13.3 foot pounds, and I'm going to take that to 159.6 uh, if I convert that to inch pounds from 13.3 foot pounds. So I'm just going 160 inch pounds boom here's the torque pattern so we'll be going one and then two three four so on and so forth so let's just kick it <clears throat> and i put rtv so i let the rtv literally sit it's a little bit tacky uh and that's tacky it's been about an hour so in accordance to what the directions say, I let dry for one hour, then tighten to torque spec. Allow full 24 hours to cure. So this has been sitting, eh, it's just a shade over an hour. So let's torque it down. First one. One. Where? Now my five is coming. Down here. Five. And then six is coming across here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, 